Well, there is a new movie coming out this weekend, and it's set in Detroit. Mm -hmm. It's called Stealing Jokes, and it's all about a group of comedians who get in over their head after they don't get paid for a show. Take a look. Ooh. Stand-up comedy is the most gangster art form in the world. Phil, if you're gonna bump us, you gotta let us know, man. We've been plugging these gigs all week. I bumped Jake Atlas. Give us a little respect. <gasps> I need my coins, Phil. You guys have any idea what you just got yourselves into? Oh! 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 $63,000. Ooh! All right! Hey, okay, comedy and drama, a little fighting. Love well, it! <laughs> joining us now is the director of the movie. He's also in the movie, filmmaker Mike Young. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. That's the movie look, that's the first time I've seen it on anything. So you're like, it looks good. Looks good. Movie looks good. Plays great on these small screens. See you there? So stealing jokes, where did this idea come from? The idea came from mo er almost every comedian who's ever toured or been on the road in, in the early days of comedy. They've all felt like they've been a little stiffed, maybe sure. shafted, maybe didn't get what they deserved. So as a tribute to comedians, they get to rob the comedy club because okay. we deserve, you know, we're game. spreading, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. That's right. Of course, you're going to get, you know, yeah. shorted a little bit here and there in your early days. Yeah, everybody has stories from, you know, from Chris they Rock do. to Bill Burr. They all have stories about, you know, the club owner said they owed them this and they only got this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? We're, we're spreading joy. We're spreading love and laughter. We're going to get our due. I know that's and right. And so that was the impetus of the idea. And then uh, we were lucky enough to shoot it in Detroit. And I love that. I'm really proud of it. It's like it's comedians great. revenge. It dun, is. Dun, dun, dun. It is. It's for any, uh, any artist. Yeah, any, any artist. Right. Musicians, everybody goes through it. It's We've just, all... you do live shows, this is part of it. Yeah, you it's said, part of the game. Yeah. said $100, not 100 pennies. <laughs> Ooh. Exactly. This is so the game, I do. <laughs> I'm so happy. This guy and I have been dear friends for the longest time. Him and his family, his brother. So this is That's so great awesome. to oh, see so you. Oh, these guys are friends. Oh, yeah. We know each it's other It's a little bit years. of a reunion. I love that. Yeah, okay. it this is. is cool. And uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about the cast and some of the guest stars who have appearances in your movie and talk to us about your passion for making movies in Detroit, mm -hmm. which I know you've had for a long time. Yes, I feel like Detroit has just as many, if not more, stories in any city in the country. So why not tell great Detroit mm -hmm. stories? And if I can come back here and do movies here, <clears throat> it's, 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 it's what I want to do. I want to, I want to base, you know, base my movie game mm -hmm. in Detroit. And so, but the cast, Michael Rappaport, always hilarious, always yes. incredible. <laughs> he brought it. Jeff Dye plays the, uh, the, the lead, Jake, mm -hmm. who gets in, tr in, in heavy trouble here. Luke Null, who was, uh, part, he was on SNL for a year, mm -hmm. who I didn't even know before I casted him. Like, he <laughs> came in, auditioned, oh, wow. and I was like, dude, you are the funniest dude I've ever seen. Where are you from? He's like, I was on SNL. I'm like, I you never like, saw oh, you. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. And then Detroit's own Ha Ha Davis, who mm -hmm. is super funny and is literally like a movie star on the rise. I was able to get him uh, in the movie. He plays Tony, uh, super funny. And so it's just, uh, I, I got really lucky with this cast. I decided like, let's keep it super indie. Mm -hmm. Rappaport's really the only face you've really seen in movies a mm -hmm. lot, but everybody else feels independent. And they, uh, they pulled it off. The chemistry was great. We shot it all in Detroit. And uh, it's a Detroit movie. Great. I and, love that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The city's the perfect backdrop for something like this. It really is. Yeah. And uh, you know, luckily we we don't have to actually rob a comedy club. There you go. <laughs> we, just, we just get to make a movie there about you it. Go. Good. Well, Thank speaking you. of comedy, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Thank you." Right, you've been <laughs> on another show in Detroit <laughs> after ours, right? <laughs> We're be on the twelve. <laughs> right. All right. Well, speaking of comedy, in addition to the movie, you also have the rock comedy tour happening. Tell us about that. The Rock Comedy Tour is a 25-city tour, and it's sort of in conjunction with the film. And because there's so many comedians in the movie, a lot of us are going on tour together. We're going to co-promote the movie. And That's really uh, smart. yeah, mm -hmm. rock companies uh, who were kind enough to help produce the movie here in Detroit, mm -hmm. they sponsored the tour. And so here we are on the Rock Comedy mm. Tour. So Love it's that. just it's great. We're, we're keeping everything grounded, Detroit-centric, mm -hmm. grassroots, mm -hmm. and and really, you know, Detroit's 
you know, we've given it the push many times. Mm -hmm. For a while, the, the film incentive was here, then it went away. And so we're doing everything we can to, like, bring it back. And even if the incentive's not here, we're going to figure out a way to just That's keep it in awesome. Detroit. That's awesome. Right. Basically, I'll be sleeping in your studio for yeah. the next four days. It's no okay. problem. We always have good food here. You know that. Yeah. I so. saw that. <laughs> we've, we've, we've got that going for us. Yeah. And you won't have to rob a comedy club. There you no. go. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mike, what do, you, what do you think about the state of comedy when it comes down to movies and stand-up? Mm. Let everyone know what they can see in Stealing Jokes this Friday. Stealing Jokes, we pull no punches. And I feel like comedy is the one art right now that can sort of listen you can always get in trouble obviously there's a there's a moment mm -hmm. happening right now or yeah. there's there's woke this is going on and people are sensitive but if you just come from a good place with comedy and mm -hmm. you come from the truth of what what your truth is I feel like there's no really wrong that you can do. If you come from a place of just negativity and you're mm -hmm. doing it for shock effect, mm -hmm. I think you're going to have a problem. Yeah. But for me, I've always just wanted to tell the truth in comedy. And so, you know, keep it authentic and you'll be all right. But if you're just going they, for yeah. negative shock value, right. yeah. you're yeah. out. And I think people can tell the difference. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. One more time, where can people mm -hmm. see the movie this Friday? You can see it on all streaming plat. I don't even know which camera I'm looking at. You can you keep it. You want to do it? That's right there. Yeah, you like right there. All streaming, <laughs> all streaming platforms, including Amazon, everywhere. Apple TV, Apple TV Plus, Amazon, Direct TV, anywhere you can stream. Just type in "stealing jokes." And then you'll watch it. And then you'll Mike watch Young, it and just don't you. steal jokes. They don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Mike Young is coming after you. I'm coming. Thank, thank you so much for hanging out with thank us. Thank you for having me. Good to have me. you back. Great. All right, everyone. Coming